Hi Cancer and welcome to your general love reading for the second half of April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer and it is a general reading so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box and if you would like a cord cutting session with me, you can just email me and I will send you all the information about those as well. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of April. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this is a general reading. All right, so let's see, for the situation, we have the world card crossed by the Six of Swords. Okay, so it feels like there's something that is coming to an end here. There are lessons that have been learned. Um, a cycle is pretty much done, is what I'm getting here. Now, you are moving away from this, but it feels like the moving away from something that is done might be what is challenging. Now, it doesn't, when we say done, it doesn't mean that a connection is completely over, but there's a cycle, at least within this connection, that is done. Um, or maybe it is, you know, just for the time being, all right? Let's see. Um, for your energy, we have. The Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, okay, so you're you're moving forward, but there might be just a little bit of hesitation. That's what I'm getting here. There's a little bit of hesitation in whatever direction it is that you're moving towards. And just a little bit of kind of just waiting to see where things will take you. We'll see more when we clarify. For them, we have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Swords. Um, hmm. This is someone who is a little bit confused, not really sure what it is that they want to do. They, there is some kind of an emotional detachment from something here, possibly from the connection with you. There is this, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm moving away from this. But I feel like they're moving from being confused about this to being very determined about something, which again, we'll see more when we clarify. Let's see for the potential outcome, we have the Hermit. Okay, Cancer, I feel like this is a situation where at least for the time being, it feels like you're both kind of being called to take some kind of a break or to just detach from this and move away from each other, all right? Because with the Hermit also being in the potential outcome, I feel like this is um, just really spending some time apart and really going within and really just um, integrating the lessons that have been learned from this. Of course, you know, I mean, things can always change later if that's also what you want, but this is what I'm getting for the time being. So if this doesn't resonate with you so far, it might not be your reading, okay? Um, let's see. And again, the roles can be reversed. So let's see the world card with the Six of Swords. The Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Wands showing up again. I mean, this could even be that one of you has been waiting on the other for quite some time. All right, because I do kind of get that in your energy here or it could be that the other this person or maybe you have been procrastinating on taking action and so this person is trying to detach from you uh, this is definitely a very deep soul connection and i feel like it's somebody um either from your past or somebody that you've shared a lot of past lives with so there could have been a lot of karmic lessons that needed to be learned all right and again i feel like that has that has already happened that has happened. The lessons, the lessons have been learned, and now it's just a matter of fully integrating those. Um, and a lot of this might have to do with somebody just not waiting for the other person to come in as this Knight of Cups. 
whether that be to offer an apology, whether that be to, you know, give us some kind of a love offer, whatever that might be. I feel like the cycle of waiting is complete, basically. All right, so let's see, let's get deeper here. Let's see the Ace of Swords in your energy. The Nine of Swords and the Devil. Who? what's going on here? I feel like, you know, this is more of like a past energy where you, or for some of you, it could even be a, um, a current energy where you were feeling a lot of stress, possibly a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing about this situation. Um, there may have been a very negative attachment to this. And basically what I feel is happening here is that you, you came to see that, you came to realize that. Um, but it feels like, you know, in the past you may have been taking some action and moving in a direction where it only led to more stress, to more pain, um, to more conflict. And a lot of this may also have had to do with waiting or procrastinating something. For some of you this may have even been an addiction, but I'm mostly getting that it's more of just overthinking um, stressing, just repeating thoughts over and over and over again, just, you know, going over what has happened again and again and again and again. And I feel like this was very, very active. Let's see the Two of Wands. Death and the King of Swords, which is also in this person's energy. Um, yeah, it was like holding back from an ending here, some kind of an ending that you knew had to take place. You knew it was coming. You knew that, you know, this is something you would have to deal with, have to face, or maybe even have to take initiative on and bring it about. Um, and I feel like you're still kind of thinking about it. Like I said, you know, it's like the cycle is complete and it's really just a matter of integrating the lessons and actually, you know, being able to leave it in the past. But you can only take this step by step, all right? Um, it does take a little bit of time, so don't be too harsh on yourself, but there's definitely some kind of an ending here. And I feel like you're just, you know, really just integrating it, really thinking a lot about it, um, and beginning to understand it more and more as you go. Let's see the Three of Wands. Again, always keep in mind that these energies, they're meant for a short time period, okay? So it's not like the forever and ever, although of course for some of you it could be. Um, but that's, you know, we're just looking at what is happening in the very um, short term here. All right, so clarifying the Nine of Wands, sorry, the Three of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. It's interesting that I'm not really seeing much of your element here in your energy. Um, so maybe you also have not really been feeling like yourself um, lately. I feel like you're, you're expecting whatever this ending is or whatever this transition is, you're expecting this to be more difficult than what it actually is going to be, okay? Um, so you might be bringing a little bit of resistance to it because of that. But the message here for you is that, you know, once it starts flowing, like it's going to flow, it's going to move and it's going to move along for you pretty quickly. All right. In a positive way. I feel like it's just that you have this expectation that it's going to be difficult. And that's actually, you know, just creating more stress for you. And it's unnecessary. You know, just let it flow. Don't think too much about the future and what this might bring and what might happen and how you might feel. Just take it one step at a time and let it, just let it come. And you'll see that, you know, you'll be able to deal with it bit by bit as it comes. The universe is not going to give you more than what you can handle at any particular time. 
Okay, so let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see this Seven of Cups. The King of Cups and the Three of Wands for them too. Um, see, there's procrastination on their end too. They're waiting for something as well. They're not sure what to expect. Um, what they do know is that there is love here, all right? They, I mean, there's a lot of love from this person, at least, towards you. But they really don't know what to do about this situation. Um, they don't know what option to take, what alternative to choose. So it, it feels like they're just kind of waiting to see where this is going to go. Let me see the Eight of Cups. The lovers, all right, so Gemini energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, they're, it's like they're detaching here from some kind of, some kind of a connection. I'm not sure if this is you, it could be. They're, they're moving away from the, like, the potential of this moving forward. I have a feeling that for some of them, this is a connection that they're already in where, you know, they might feel like they need to make a choice here. And I say that because of this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like it's something that is already there in their, in their life. Okay. So that's going to be for some of you, um, for others of you, if that doesn't resonate, I feel like, yeah, you know, this person is just trying to move away from, from this connection. That's just what I'm seeing here. Um, but again, this is meant for the short term. Anything anything can happen afterwards. Let's see the King of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a major shift here happening for this person in the way that they are thinking about things, especially in terms of what it is that they are, where they are investing their energy, where it is that they are investing their time, how they are organizing things in their mind. Um, there's a major shift happening in terms of that and in, you know, how they want things to progress. And I feel like there's a lot of determinism as well um, in terms of making some kind of a shift here. I honestly don't know in which direction it is, but I feel like for the time being, whatever this is, it's leading up to the two of you spending just a little bit of time alone. Um, again, it's like there's there's some waiting here on on their end as well, both on both of your sides. So, and I do feel like you know there's there's love here, right? Um, especially from this person. I'm not so much seeing it on your side for some reason. Although, like I said, um, this is a deep connection okay we have the six of cups in the main energy so that tells me that you're feeling this connection with this person as well um so this could be the reason why there's this like hesitation to move to move apart i don't know let's see let's see the hermit yeah there we go the six <laughs> The Six of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Ooh, okay. So maybe it could be that um, one of the two of you is actually um, the reason for things having to move in this direction, right? Um, again, it, everything was meant to happen here. Like I said, I feel like there was karma between the two of you. There's... Um, a cycle that needed to be completed, lessons that needed to be learned, and that has happened. But it could be that it was on one person's side that really has led up to this ending. And it could be that these are this is what needs to happen in order for somebody to really see what it's like to be without the other. All right, so I do see this... Um, I do feel like there is this movement away from each other, right? With the Six of Swords, being able to leave this in the past and okay, move on. But it does come with some pain for whoever it is that maybe, you know, still has a lesson to learn. Because maybe both sides haven't learned. I feel like you have, for the most part. Um, could be the other way around, though. But it's like this solitude, it's needed in order to process this ending, really feel what that is like, 
it is going to create pain, but I feel like in the end, it's also going to bring about a lot of lessons, insight, and integration of the, le of the lessons. And then that's when, you know, um, the conflict and the pain can be left in the past and move towards the sun, move towards something that is going to be more peaceful, more calm, whether it's together with this person or whether it is um, with somebody else. So again, the message, I don't know whose energy this is that's going to feel this pain, um, but the message for you watching this video, whoever it is that's watching, is that there's no need to be in your head about it. You know, you are moving towards calmer waters. Just allow yourself to spend some time alone. Allow yourself the time to integrate the lessons and things are going to get so much easier. Don't, don't make a, you know, like, don't blow an ending out of proportion in your mind. It's it's going to be a lot easier for you, as I said, you know, if you just take it one day at a time and not come up with a whole bunch of scenarios expecting it to be more difficult than what it actually is. And I'm not saying it's not difficult endings or, you know, completions. Sometimes they're, they're, they always are difficult to deal with. Um, so I'm not diminishing it. I'm just saying that you'll be okay and it is something that you can handle and that things are going to be so much easier and lighter at the end of it all and not as difficult as you expect. So, Cancer. I feel like I feel like the earth the no, the air signs also had some pretty difficult energies as well. So, it's not just you. It's probably just the time period right now collectively. All right, so let's see. If this resonated, the final message for cancer and we have passion and pleasure savor your life and I feel like this is what you're moving towards you will have passion you will have pleasure this is coming it's very very close actually it's very close to you so cancer those are your messages thank you so much for watching and much love